went to, our, uh, went to the land of Iron and found the stones. Uh, they brought out a stone, written upon it was Agam, eight arcane druidic runes in Latin, sort of like another stone they found somewhere else for translations, uh, which read, and quote, um, Hear me, children of darkness, and take to you the light of the druids, for we have traveled far from our shores across mighty oceans. Deep were the seas, and deep was our peril, and yet we persevered, for we could no longer abide the cruel feet and hands and swords of our Roman oppressors. We found virgin land, for which druids, it's a good thing. That's, that's the thing. A virgin land to which our, we took our greatest treasures. These were not treasures of gold, silver, and gems, but treasures of the land that we druids loved so well. First, we took with us the sacred plants of the agave plant. Uh, that uh, All that can be found, so that's why you can't find it in Ireland. Uh, it's in its precious rarity. We planted it in this new virgin land and it thrived and grew. From this we made the sacred drink of the gods, the Taki La. <laughs> that which lifts spirits and the heart. In addition, we took our sacred Ma'is and the great and fiery Hala Pain, yo. The stone went on in this fashion and at a great length. Uh, I'm going to summarize it here because <laughs> I, I got this drink. Take a breath, take a breath. It seems that the ancient cults picked a time that was neither day nor night. Sort of like that, you know, that, that right time when you want to take a picture and it makes everything just feel nice and you just, yeah. They took that and they decided that that was the time that they would have one of their ceremonies. In that ceremonies, they would uh, take the tequila and mix it with juice of the lime. And, uh, uh, and and uh, add salt to the rim. It, they made this sea green drink, and it was known as the Mar Gar. Gar meaning spear, Mar meaning sea. Ita, the diminutive form. So it's the little spear of the sea that hits you in the head. <laughs> on this, on a cup, they would rim it with this uh, salt of the sea, so you, you would have that. To that, the uh, with the drink, they would take the jalapeno, and it's funny. You know, in history, everybody tells you that uh, everybody thought that tomatoes were deadly, but the Druids knew better. And to the uh, to the uh, jalapeno, they would mix the tomato, and they would get soul, meaning sun, the soul sap. From that, they would take the maize, create little round orns, none of this triangle heresy shit. <laughs> And they would dip it into the fire of the sun and mix it with the little spear of the sea, and this would be what they would partake during their ceremony. Now, as you know, that's not the only uh, elements on the periodic table. We have two more. You have these great stone blocks that we know as Stonehenge. Now, it's it's an interesting thing. You um. There's a hole midway through every single one of them. And what we've come to realize is the holes are not midway through. The earth has eroded away. Those were roughly about a foot off the ground, and they have found brass filings inside of each hole to realize that it's a brass rail that they would have around the edge. And that would put the top of the, uh, of the uh, stones about this high so that you could have one foot on the ground. You could have one foot in the air. You could have your salute to the sea, as well as your salute to fire and the sun. And at that perfect time that they would call the hour of felicity, or happy, happy hour. hour. And that is how the Celts invented it. It's a hysterical fact, and if you, want it, if you don't agree, I'll fight you for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, and now I'm going to go actually look at the paper and see what I've got. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they the left anything out. The shortest person in the room was doing a, dance, a uh, interpretive dance version of it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, good, good, uh, the stones, Celts, Bob, Far Sky God. Yep, cool, we're good, we're hit. <laughs> oh gosh, all we would love for the wind to be able to come back without the rain. Without the rain. Right. <laughs> Um, what else is, I think that's it for me. Now I get to drink and eat.